really not uh, October 3rd was the day I started the 100 mile challenge. Um, yeah, October 3rd is when it started for me. So I had that, that amount of time to complete it. Why, why did I get into doing it? Well, I got to be honest. I mean, um, somebody told me about the uh, Marathon Training Academy, and um, and I heard what what the challenge was, the 100-mile challenge before the end of the year. Um, and the, you could run or walk. And so I knew that that was something that I wanted to be a part of. Um, I know that there's not a lot of people out there quite as physically – uh, fit as I am and I, and I don't mean that like in a in a bragging way I just knew that I was able to push myself a little more than you know regular people um, I never would have imagined where I would have ended up um, at the end of it you know what walking that hundred miles I, I would have never thought that it would have put me on the elite level of uh, athleticism as it has so so I'm pretty thankful for that <laughs> Um, no, I didn't. I didn't actually. Tr I didn't train much at all. Um, as a matter of fact, I, I heard about it, and I went out the next day, and I said, you know, it's time to start. It's time to put your bootstraps on and tie them tight, lace them tight. And uh, I just went out, and, I, and in that first day, I knew, I knew in the first quarter mile uh, that I was feeling pretty good, and I told myself and. Right, that first day, I mean, that quarter mile in, I'm like, this feels pretty good. I feel pretty strong. Uh, no, no ailments were really kicking in. And then the first day, I think the first day, I, I finished at 1.14 miles. And, uh, you know, I, I felt it when I was done. I, it was pretty tough, to be honest. The, the last uh, 4.14 miles was um, – it was pretty difficult, and I knew I was just listening to my body, so I went ahead and shut it down that day, and uh, I think I knocked out two miles the next day, you know. So to be able to feel the pain, you got to push through it. So I knew that next day I was like, I have to do something better tomorrow, and that's why I did the two miles. And, uh, yes, and then, I, and then I took a couple, week off, a couple of weeks off after the two miles, uh, just to try to recuperate, you know, to get my muscles right. They were pretty the sore and tight, but, yeah. Um, well, yeah, I, now, I so I basically, I, I think I did one more day in October, and I, that day I, I actually believe I went three miles the third time, and so I was pretty sore after that also. So I actually took off all of November, Um maybe a couple uh, um i think maybe one day i pretty much took off november uh just to recuperate but um yeah and so december 12th um i knocked out a couple of miles so basically going into december 16th um i knew that i was really going to have to put some miles in because uh i was still setting on about 81 miles at that point and uh, i was going to have to give some a little more effort than I had if I was going to attain this this goal. <laughs> well, th I appreciate it. I, I've never considered myself to be anybody's hero or a, a, a legend, as you call it, uh, and and to be compared uh, to both people that you've named is crazy because Michael Jordan was my favorite basketball player growing up and Tiger Woods was my favorite golfer. You know, these people had achieved elite, uh, elite levels of success. So the fact that you're putting me in that category, I, I mean, honestly, I, I appreciate it. It's just crazy to think, you know, uh, and there's one thing to say, not everybody in the world plays basketball and Michael Jordan's the greatest at, at that sport and not everybody in the world, um, golfs and tiger woods was the greatest you know during his era um when he played but for the most part everybody walks so to be known as an elite walker that's crazy i, I just never thought that that i would achieve this level of success and the thing about tiger woods is tiger woods i mean this guy walks 18 36 holes a day probably just to get ready for the tournament so he's he's a pretty good walker and and to think that i have far exceeded uh, his athletic ability um, to
to be the walker that I've become, it feels pretty good. Uh, you know, I never really thought about what's next. You know, I put all my heart and soul into this walking challenge. So uh, I never really thought, you know, what, what are you going to do next? What level, what, what fitness game are you going to do? You know, I'm on the mountaintop now. And it feels pretty good up here, and I don't, I don't plan on getting off of it. And so you say, well, how are you going to stay up there? Well, to be honest, I think I just will not do any more physical activity. Um, and the reason for that is because I'm on the mountaintop, and so if I go do another challenge, if I don't complete it, then I'm not on the mountaintop. So I think to stay here, I think I just don't do anything else, and then you don't have to go anywhere, you know. And that was – I, so once again, I hadn't thought about it, but I think that that's that's the approach I'm going to take. <laughs> I will I do any more walking challenges? You know, I don't think so. I think I'll just do maybe um, I may do some benefits, maybe some walking benefits, um, maybe walking exhibitions. But I don't think that I will get into any uh, challenges, hundred mile challenge competitions anymore. Um, because the thing is, is like I didn't, I didn't know I was at this level of athleticism when I started, and so to achieve it after only my first try, like, hey, look at that! You know, I got brought home the hardware. So, uh, you know, I don't think I'll do competitive walking anymore. Um, I, I'm just riding this wave. You know, I, it feels pretty good. <laughs> Well, you know, um, that's the thing. I, I've sacrificed a lot um, to, to do this walk, I, I, this, this challenge. Uh, you know, I'm just probably going to be with my wife and kids. You know, I feel like they've probably been neglected a little by me because I'm always out there pushing myself, you know, walking the next mile. You know, I, I walk during the day. I would walk at night. Um, I walked on the turnpike. Um, I walked in illegal places like the turnpike and overpasses, but I, you know, I pushed through it, and uh, I think I'm just going to spend time with them now. Yeah, so I appreciate it, everybody. Uh, thank you. Um, feels good to feels good to be the best walker in the world. It's, I just never would have imagined. So, uh, you guys have a good night. Thank you. Yeah.